The Triceratops lived 68 to 66 million years ago, near the end of the Cretaceous period. It roamed what is now North America as a massive plant-eating dinosaur. Its name means three-horned face, and those horns made it one of the most recognizable dinosaurs in history. A full-grown Triceratops reached about 9 meters long and 3 meters tall. For comparison, a modern rhino is only around 3.5 meters long and 1.5 meters tall. That makes the Triceratops nearly three times larger than a rhino. A Triceratops could weigh up to 12 tons, which is roughly the same as two full school buses combined. Despite its size, the Triceratops could run up to 20 kilometers per hour. A regular human runs about 15 kilometers per hour, so this giant could still outrun most people. As a herbivore, Triceratops used its sharp beak to cut through tough plants and its teeth to grind thick, fibrous vegetation. Its skin may have been up to 5 centimeters thick, giving extra protection against bites and scratches from predators. Its horns could reach 1 meter long, delivering more than 10,000 newtons of force, strong enough to knock down a small tree with a single charge. Even though it wasn't a predator, a Triceratops still had a bite force of around 800 PSI, powerful enough to crush tough plant material. In comparison, the T-Rex was on another level, with a bite force reaching 12,800 PSI, one of the strongest bites in the history of any land animal. This is the full skeleton of the Triceratops. Its massive skull alone could reach over two meters, making up almost a third of its entire body. The three horns, the huge frill, the thick limb bones, every part of this structure was built for strength and defense. The Triceratops defended itself with its powerful horns. By lowering its head and locking its stance, those horns could deliver a crushing, forceful strike, strong enough to stop even the fiercest attacker. And if the two ever faced each other, the Triceratops would lower its head, lock its stance, and aim its massive horns forward. In a moment like this, one wrong move could decide everything.